Hey guys, it's Drak, and today we're talking about this. Now, this is a very exciting piece for me personally and for the nerfing community at large because it represents not just something awesome, but also what we can do as a community together and just like the sheer capability of the nerfing innovation power out there collaboratively. So, what this is is a machined aluminum bolt sled. Now, it doesn't look like aluminum because it's been powder coated orange, which is really cool. And the creator of this is a guy named Roboman in our nerfing community. And he has machined this. It's missing the back end because the back end is only necessary for a lock. So it's as small as it needs to be and it's just insanely powerful. The limiting factor for long shots in terms of their spring power and therefore their power output has always been this bolt sled. When it's made of plastic, this piece here bends forward as it's being primed back through the bolt and it breaks very frequently once you put that higher spring load constant inside your system this won't break this is virtually indestructible it has no flex to it it reminds me a great deal of what remedy metal sent me a long time ago except his was steel and this is aluminum so this even weighs less which is great they look great it's clean it's got a screw through here to attach the actual priming mechanism for well the priming mechanism will go in here and then the actual bolt will attach into the bolt sled through this i guess aperture here but i'm going to get this installed into a long shot just to do a power demonstration for it i think that it's just an awesome part and i'm really excited to have my hands on one so that i can do some hard testing for you so I've gone over this before in other long shot videos like my battle rifle and spartan shot video and if you haven't seen those before they're definitely worth watching they go over this ad nauseum but you need to come in I use Danco silicon grease to grease something cylindrical about the size and bore of a dart and then I plug this area inside the plunger housing and I then pour hot glue around the dead space and then I knock it out since it's been greased and this is just a straight shot through a hot glue into plastic channel and then you can put the plunger housing here it comes backwards and then I'll epoxy this into place so we'll have a completely dead space removed very nice very clean shot through our entire breech system so this is going to be a much more efficient barreling method which will be necessary because we're going to get just a ton of power out of this Roboman bolt sled and I've got a spring all picked out. So to prove the merits of the Roboman bolt sled, I've decided to choose a spring to demonstrate its durability that goes well beyond any normal functioning necessary poundage for a long shot. So this is a stock long shot spring. It collapses very easily to just about nothing. This is a spring that a Canadian nerfer named Make It Go sent me and using just my hands I can't quite get it to full compression. Now I've tested it and it's about the same poundage as two Home Depot springs which clock in whoa at about 24 pounds each. So it's somewhere around there maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less and I think that it's just a super duper tough spring and it just barely nests inside a long shots plunger housing or a long shots plunger rod system and so that makes it the perfect candidate to test out this bolt sled and we should just get some ludicrous performance out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and Teflon tape this, grease it, double up the o-ring so that we get an absolutely awesome seal. You can see that this has already been redone up through there and everything is ready to go. All I have to do is finish designing some sort of fun long shot shell to put all of this into. This is just a quick look at Roboman's bolt sled installed into the long shot before I seal it up. It was super duper easy to get this installed. I Here, let me pull this out just so I can show it off. Um, there's a thumb screw connecting it instead of the traditional pin in a regular bolt sled and that just made it really easy to thread it onto the plunger itself so that was super simple installing it was super simple it fits perfectly the 
powder coating makes it slip easily against ABS plastic, so it doesn't even really need any grease. I did grease the inner track. I'll probably grease the outer track before I close it up just to be safe, but all in all, it was a very easy installation, and the part just looks great. Sadly, it's going to be completely covered once it's inside the blaster, but it should function great as well, and that'll be evident no matter what condition your jam door is in. So with this bolt sled installed and this super heavy spring, I had to add one of Nerfomania's custom long shot foregrips just so that I could evenly distribute the weight through the bolt and actually prime the blaster because otherwise it was very difficult. It's definitely no longer a one hand primable blaster. So I have a clip with four shots in it and we can bring that home and fire. Whoa. And I'm still using both hands to prime it, but the bolt sled is just giving no give. It's a very, very well-designed part. It's perfect in almost every way for just a super OP long shot like this or like really anything over about 30 pounds of spring load and I couldn't be happier with it. I think it's a really, really great part and I think that if you're looking to build your ultimate dream long shot or ultimate clip fed springer, this is probably a good starting place if you want to make sure it'll just last forever. So. Highly recommend these bolt sleds by Roboman. I'll put a link to his store down below where you can pick up one from him. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions in the comment section below as to what I should do with this long shot now that it's got a Nerfomania foregrip and is really, really sweet inside, I just don't know what to do with the outside quite yet. I haven't wanted to build a long shot since the Night Fury since it serves all of my needs in that regard. So if you got any ideas, let me know. And and I'll see you guys in a couple of days.